Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the video one of our 30 days Python interview question and answer series. I have been receiving multiple requests from many of you to start this series from a long time. That's the reason I have decided to start this series. This series is going to be super helpful for all the aspiring data analysts, business analysts and data engineer who are preparing for their interview. So let's go ahead and see the question that we're going to solve in this video. If you have any question that you want me to include in this series, just let me know so that I can include that questions in the upcoming video. So here is the question one, which is a very uh, popular question. And this question has been asked multiple times into different different companies, data analysts and business analysts interview. So the question says, can you reverse the below string? without using a reverse modules okay so this string is which is a this is a string this can be any string right so i have just taken an example so the string is uh, data analytics now we need to reverse this string that means we need to write this string this s to d okay like this way so we need to reverse this string and the condition is that you cannot use reverse modules okay so let's go ahead and see how we can reverse this string uh, using some a simple uh, logical approach here okay first of all i have included these questions in the video description so you can go ahead and click the link to download this q1 and you will be able to get all these questions and everything and then you can solve by yourself okay so if you think you can solve this uh, problem you can pause the video and then you can solve by yourself write down your approach and then you can watch the video so let's go ahead and see how we should be solving this uh, problem okay so this is a variable as we are storing this right this is a text right it's a string basically so now we can simply go ahead and use a simple logic which is called a len okay so len functions is going to tell what is the total number of len we have right including this space as well so till here 1 2 3 4 5 right 6 7 8 9 10 i think uh, maybe 14 it has right again we can check it here so i'm just going to use a print and the len functions and inside this len i'm going to just put this s okay so it is going to kind of give me the length of this i would just put it outside this box because it is inside this uh you know commenting right so i have just created this variable which is called s which is a string so let's see what it does a return right so i can just simply say run in terminal and you can see it is telling the len is 14 so len means it is starting from this to this we have 14 characters so even this space is also counted okay that is cool now we can use this number to reverse this string so we can use some mechanism which is going to reverse this string okay let's go ahead and first create a variable which is called num and in this num what i'll be doing is that i'm going to put this which is called len s okay so that means whatever the number i have i am storing inside this variable okay now i would want to show you one thing which is called uh, index indexing based, based on index number i can access any of this element so let's say i want to just print this s okay I would just need to use this square brackets and I can just put the number of the index. So I can say I am looking for the index which is called, uh, you know, 13. Okay. So, or I can say, yeah, I can say minus one because I can access this using the negative or I can say positive. So this is going to be one. Uh, this is going to be zero. The first index is always zero. Then it is going to be one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I need to access this S. So I need to say 13 because indexing in Python is start from zero in positive and in negative, it is start from minus one, then minus two. Okay. So here I can say 13 and uh, you can see that it is going to tell me that, uh, let's see where I'm getting the results. So, sorry, I need to use simply, I don't want this len now. So I can simply say 13 and if you see it is returning S. Okay. So because this is a last string which is a uh, 13 number string the index number for this characters which is s is going to be uh, you know 13 right uh, and that's the reason we have put 13 here i can use a minus one as well if i want to access it and if you see i'm getting the same thing okay so if i want to access this c it's going to be 13 right i mean it's going to be 12 right if you see i'm getting 12 if i put it 11 i will be getting this which is called i so using this mechanism we can reverse this string okay so same way uh, what i'll be doing is that i'll be creating one more variable now and i will name it called a reverse s okay reversed okay s or i can simply say reverse uh, reverse string okay let's give it meaningful name reverse string and it is an empty list which, which i'm creating it's an empty list okay now i'm going to use a simple while loop to kind of reverse this string okay so what I'll be doing is that I will say while and I'm going to say while this number is greater than equals to zero. Okay. While this number is greater than equals to zero, what I want uh, the uh, this while loop to do. Okay. 
I want this while loop to print this uh, this information, okay, which I was using earlier, okay. But here, what I will be doing is that I'm going to not put this number. See, I would simply put it, uh, which is called this uh, information, right? Let's first kind of delete this extra brackets, and I would say this s of num, okay. Now let's understand how it is going to work, okay? If you see, this num means it is holding 14, okay? Because this len I'm getting using this len function and it has 14, okay? Now if I run this, obviously it is going to throw an error because we do not have this string number 14, like we do not have s of 14, right? Because in s the maximum index is 13 because it starts from zero, right? So what we'll be doing is that we are going to add a minus one from, do a minus one from here. So that means this number is having 13 stored at the time, okay? So we are saying if this number is greater than equals to zero, we want to print this. This is the first iterations. In the first iterations, we are saying print s of number, that means s of 13. So what you'll have the result, the result is going to be that, uh, which is called this s, okay? So till here, it is very clear. So we will be having this s. Okay, that is fine. Next, what do you want to do? Okay, one, once we have this s, next we would want to do something else, right? So let's go ahead and see what else we want to do. So in the next iterations, we need to remove one from this 13, like we need to minus one, okay? Because otherwise it will uh, keep on kind of printing the same into endless loop because this number will always be 13 and it will always be greater than zero and it will always kind of print uh, this, uh, which is called this characters, which is called SSSS, okay? Thousand times, uh, just to show you, I can just uh, print it and you will see that it will uh, it will keep on printing. You see, it is increasing, right? At the end, my system will be hanged and it will be slowed down because it will uh, keep on printing till the time I do not close it, right? So let's scale this terminal. Okay, now what you need to do is that we need to uh, implement a mechanism which is going to reduce this a number okay it's a it's a part of while loop functions when you start a while loop if the uh, we need to break the conditions right so we would just go ahead and say number okay now again the easiest way to write it is called number equals you can say number minus one okay so what we are saying first we print the characters which is going to be s obviously and then we are saying that hey now we are still in the same, uh, you know, iteration. Okay. We are saying number equals number minus one. So what about the number earlier we had, we're just minusing one and storing it back to the number. So now the number is 12, then the number, this number is 12. And then we print, uh, then we put 12 here and this get basically, which is called C instead of S because now it is 12. Then it is again, this number is 12. So from 12, we minus 12 minus one, then we store 11 in this. Okay. So again, it can, it continues. So at the time when this last at the last iteration this number is going to be what this number is going to be zero right so zero minus uh, which is called uh, zero minus one i mean it will go to minus one so it is not going to be printed but when it is a zero here let's say in the last iterations let's assume that we have a kind of uh, two here okay i mean we had uh, two here so we will have two here two minus one is going to be one right so at the end now here the number is one okay in the next iteration so the number is going to be one okay so um, this is fine and it is going to print the you know second characters like uh, this one okay then we will put it one here so we will say one minus one equals so the number is going to be zero then right so we will use zero here and uh, like here zero so zero means the first characters which is going to be d okay so this is how it is going to and uh, once you it once it is zero okay it will print this character which is d Obviously, there is no more character left, but we need to somehow close the loop, okay? So, once it is zero here, once we put zero here, obviously, zero minus zero minus one is going to be minus one, correct? So, minus one is kind of what? Minus one is, uh, you know, kind of not greater than equals to zero. So, the loop will close here and we will, uh, you know, come out of the loop and then we can kind of, uh, you know, we will have the reverse string, okay? So, let's go ahead and see how it is going to work, okay? So we are going to say here, which is called uh, number reducing, number reducing mechanism, number reducing mechanism, what we will implement here, we will say number equals num minus one, you can write it this way, or the second way you can write it is called num minus equal. Okay, so second way you can write this way, which is called number minus equals, or you can say number equals number minus one. Okay, so both way you will be getting the same result. I will just comment it out. Let's go ahead and see this one. Okay, so this is fine. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, just run this uh, query. And if you see right now, I have the output starting from S, then C, I, T, Y, L, A, N, A. 
and uh, a t a d right we also have this space correct so we have the answer now what you need to do is that we will simple use a simple logic to kind of uh, put the data in this that's it okay so for that in each iterations i will simply do some append here so i will just use this reverse string okay and i'm going to say reverse string dot append and what i want to append is going to be this data okay and I do not want to print it basically. I simply want to append it in here. And uh, uh, I would just go ahead and come out of it once the loop end. And I will be printing at the end, which is called a reverse string. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. So right now, if you see, I have the data, which is called uh, reverse in the reverse orders like uh, this, right? Uh, S C I T Y L A. Okay. So we have the results. But uh, instead of uh, creating list, we could create uh, something as a string, okay, reverse string as a kind of, you can say, we can create a reverse string as a string. Uh, uh, I think we don't need to create as a list if you do not want to show the result in, in a that way. And here, what, what you need to do is that you simply need to use this reverse string, okay, and you can say, which is called plus equal, and uh, you can just put this logic here, okay. And you will have uh, the result in a string instead of having it as a list because if, we, if you have it in a list, you will have it like you know split it uh, separated by comma. Okay, so it will be hard to read. Right now we can go ahead and just uh, run this query again. And if you see, I have the data which is in the reverse order. Earlier I had in a list, but now I have it in a kind of as a string. Okay, so right now if you see, it is being reversed. Okay, we if you wanna reverse now this uh, which is called this reverse string we can do that we can just put the data which is uh, the data that we are getting in the in the answers which is this data and in the results okay if we want we can go ahead and test it right so let's go ahead and say comment it out right now s is going to be this okay and uh, we will go ahead and kind of print it out now and if you see i have the opposite one which is data analytics right so that means the logic is working now i'll be giving you one challenge question which you can solve by yourself and i'm going to reveal the answer in the next video so this is the questions and the question is remove duplicates elements from below list while maintaining the order also return as a list okay you can solve this problem and write down your answer in the comment box that's it for this video guys if you found this video helpful do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care bye bye